All right. Are we ready to go? Let me just check real quick. Make sure the studio thing is alive and well. All right. And we are indeed ready to go. We're going to turn it to uh, Tennessee Purdue on the TV. March Madness going on. Gotta love it. Mm. Happy Easter, everybody. But yeah, what's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with a very special early mid-afternoon Cavs stream. As the Cavs begin their final road trip of the season in Denver against the defending champion Denver Nuggets. A team that the Cavs beat back in November 121-109 in Cleveland. This was, of course, during the time when I didn't stream the Cavs because uh, and I always go through a little period where I don't stream them for like a week or so, mainly because other stuff's going on and, you know. So, uh, in that game against the Nuggets back in November, the Cavs were led by Darius Garland, who had 26. This was before his face injury, so of course he was cooking back then. Uh, 21 from Craig Porter, and 12 from George Niang. And then, of course, Mobley cooked, Allen was really good, and Struess did his thing. You know, good stuff. And of course, Karis LeVert didn't play. Because of a sore left knee. And then for the Nuggets in that game. 21 from MPJ. And of course, uh, Jamal Murray didn't play in that game. In fact, he's out today too. So we somehow managed to avoid playing Jamal Murray twice. That's interesting. Usually, you know, when we're facing a team with good players that are injured, usually they come back against us. But this is the second game in a row now where we avoided the uh, team's star player. And B, last game against Philly, Murray today. Now, of course, we still got to deal with Jokic and Porter Jr., but no Murray. Uh, Denver just lost to Minnesota on Friday. Yep, I heard about that. This should be a good game, though. Hopefully, the Cavs can get the win and continue on their, uh, I guess, push towards a playoff spot. They should be very close to a spot at this point, you'd think. Now, uh, both teams, looking at their last five games, of course, the Cavs have not been playing well, mainly because they've been hurt. We are two and three in our last five, and the Nuggets are also, well, they're three and two. They beat the Knicks, Portland, and Memphis before losing to Phoenix and Minnesota. And then the Cavs, of course, lost to Minnesota, Miami, beat Charlotte, should have beat Charlotte twice. But, you know, we kind of sold a little bit at the end there. And then we somehow beat Philadelphia because of Evan Mobley, of all people. Love to see it. In terms of the standings, Cavs are sitting in second, two games back of Milwaukee. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty comfortably ahead of Indiana at this point. And then um, in the Northwest, Denver is just a half a game back of OKC and Minnesota. Same case in the actual standings, too. In fact, while I pull that up, let me get the lineups uh, set up for you as we are, are going to get underway here in about five minutes or so. Okay. There we are. There's the line. Okay. Well, so, yeah, again, Cavs, two back of the Bucks, and then they're only half a game ahead of the Knicks. And Knicks play OKC tonight. So, Thunder, I need you guys to come up big for us today, okay? Okay, I need it. Need it bad. Orlando's kind of fallen off a little bit. They're now only, uh, what, a game and a half back of uh, the Knicks in fifth? The Pacers are half a game back in sixth, behind fifth. And then you got the Heat. They're a game back of the Pacers. The Sixers have fallen completely off. They're in eighth now. I don't think the Bulls are going to catch them. But yeah, the Sixers, they need to start getting some wins together. They play Toronto tonight, so they should win that game. But if they, if they lose to Toronto, there's no hope. 
There is no hope. Until Embiid gets back. They are cooked. Now the Nuggets, they're a half a game back of first. Because, of course, all three in the top three are in the same division. And then the Clippers are uh, really the only threat. They're, uh, five, they're four and a half back of third. So, now in terms of teams that are eliminated, uh, yeah, four teams in each conference have been eliminated. Only the Nets remain in the East and the Rockets remain in the West. The Nets, uh, they're going to be eliminated really soon. They're five games back of 10th. All it takes is really a couple more losses by the Nets and maybe a couple more wins by the Hawks, and they're done. And then uh, the Rockets have gone scorching hot. They've hit that boost button, and they are uh, right on the heels of the Warriors. So Golden State, they better win their next game because if they lose... Houston faces Dallas tonight. That's going to be tough. But man, Houston's going to put the pressure on Gordon State. That's for sure. So, we are about three minutes from tip-off, looks like. And, uh, yeah, Jamal Murray and Zeke Naji out for the Nuggets. And uh, let me just pull up the game thing here. Well, hopefully everyone's having a good Easter, you know? I just had Easter lunch or dinner, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it was really good. You know, I had to have some ham, corn, some mashed taters. Yeah, it was damn good. And a biscuit. A biscuit. Really innovative people probably would have made some fancy, like, ham biscuit thing. But yeah, Jason, hope they don't get blown out, right? I feel that. I feel that a lot. I know. I gotta turn this volume off. There we go. All right. So yeah, we're about a minute away from tip off. While they uh, get back under, while they get everything under the control, there. Turn on the scoreboard. Scoreboard. <laughs> scoreboard. Let's take a look at the starting five here. Okay, good. All right, starting five for the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. It's the uh, OG starting five. The, the healthy starting five. Yeah. Garland, Mitchell, Struess, Mobley, and Jared Allen. And if you're wondering what jersey I'm wearing, uh, this is a LeBron. It's the, uh, it's my crystal looking jersey. It looks like it's got like crystals in the letters. Pretty dope. All right, I don't. I wonder if uh, Spider's gonna wear the mask again. He look like a guy that hadn't played in a while. Last game. We'll see how he looks tonight and uh, today. And then here's the five for the Nuggets. It's Jackson, Caldwell Pope, Porter Jr., Gordon, and Jokic. Again, no Jamal Murray. So everyone's bad. Everyone's there except for Jamal. By the way, Tennessee beating Purdue. Just starting the uh, second half. 9-10 and all-time versus Cleveland is Michael Malone in his ninth season as the Nuggets head coach. Coming off an NBA championship last season. Beating the Miami Heat. I streamed that series. It was a lot of fun. Can't wait to see who comes out of nowhere this year. There's J.B. Bozo staff. I mean, Baker staff. Fifth season as the Cavs head coach. First game of five-game road trip. Last road trip of the season. They go here to Phoenix. And then they have Phoenix to Utah back-to-back. -back. You see there's Marcus Morris and Mobley. Yeah, they have that. And then the other, so Mitchell is wearing the mask again. He'll probably wear the mask the entire uh, rest of the season, I'm sure. It's badass, though. Not going to lie. He looks badass. I like that. Injury report, of course, uh, Okoro with a toe. <laughs> Craig Porter, sick. Wade, still out with the knee. Uh, Kankar, Naji, or Chanchar, excuse me, Naji and Murray out for the Nuggets, all three with knee injuries. Knee, knee, knee. All right, so we are ready to go. And uh, the Nuggets are in their dark blue. These are not their... Uh, these aren't their city unis. These are just their regular midnight blue jerseys. Of course, Mitchell and Murray had some big-time battles. 
especially in the play in the uh, bubble in the playoffs. Said we won't see them go ahead to head in this game. Actually, at all this year sucks, but there's always next year. So we're ready for a tip off. Cavs in their white jerseys from Denver. Little afternoon ball, and we are underway. Tip is won by the Cavs. Mitchell takes it right up and gets the basket. Wow. Mitchell just went right after it. Damn. All right. Cavs under Cavs get the ball right then and there. How about that? Who do you want us to play in the playoffs? I mean, if I had to guess, if I had to say anything, I'd say Indiana. Ooh, he lost the ball and it was a foul. I'd say Indiana. That'd be fun. Or Orlando. I think Indiana would be fun. You know, you can want a challenge. You don't want to just breeze through your first round. I mean, I think we'd be able to take Indiana as long as we, you know, stop their tempo. We should, we'd be, we, I think we'd be able to take them. First free throw is no good for Aaron Gordon, former Orlando Magic. You see Mitchell and Garland chatting about probably where they should be in terms of a play. Here's the second free throw. Up oh, and good. Splits the pair. All right. Had to make sure the scoreboard woke up. All right, here we go. Here comes the Cavs up two to one. Inside, Allen goes right to the rim and gets the basket. I think the last time I streamed a Cavs Nuggets game in Denver, the Cavs got their asses kicked. I remember that. I didn't even stream the whole game. I think that was the last time. It's been a while. Here's Jackson. MPJ. Here's Jokic. Jackson, pull up. Got it. Four to three. Jackson has been a few places. Detroit, OKC, LA with the Clippers. Now he's in Denver. Almost a steal. Good save. Garland to Mobley. Mobley drives on Gordon. Spins. Nice pass inside. And a... Oh, Struis boof the layup. Maybe a little too strong on entry. Gordon for two. No good. Taken by Garland. Here comes Mitchell. Spider bringing it up the floor. He'll pull up for three. Got it. Man. Nuggets <sighs> fans know uh, Mitchell very well. Uh, of course, they've had battles in the Western Conference when... Oh, ball goes behind Gordon's head. And a little... Yeah, a little bit behind Gordon, and that's out of bounds. Cavs ball. Not a great start for Gordon. And it's going to be tough going up against uh, Allen and Mobley. And it is a hook shot good. Couldn't see who shot it because they cut right as the basket was going in. Right as the ball was going in. Nine to three Cavs. Here's Jokic for three. Good. This is so nonchalant. He's just like, mm -hmm. and it goes in almost every time. Nice pass. Almost lost it. Allen. Hook. Airballed it. Oh, my God, Allen. Hey, Allen, use the backboard. That's what it's there for. Bank it in, bro. The bank's probably open today, I'm sure. At least that bank is. <laughs> Inside. Jokic. Oh, he lost the ball. Maybe a little too high. Here comes <laughs> too high in Denver. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? The lob. Okay. Uh, bad lob by Garland. Again, a little too high. What are we playing on the moon? <laughs> Three ball. No good. <laughs> so what are we playing on the moon? The ball goes a little higher. Take me higher. Got to be careful saying high in Colorado. It's just Struis with the layup. And we have a timeout. Timeout Denver. Good job, Struis. Caught him napping. Of course, Struis remembers last year in the uh, finals. Oh, he just buzzed it right over Caldwell Pope's head. And Struzers is lurking under the basket. All right. So how are we doing, guys? We doing we doing good? Eleven to six. Cat, uh, Darius says we lose today. I'm not sure about that. 
I wouldn't be so sure. If, if we play the kind of ball that we love to play, we should win this game. We should win this game. Uh, an injured Cavs team loses this game for sure. If the Cavs were as injured as they were a week ago, I don't think I would have uh, been streaming this game. I probably would have streamed the Guardians. <laughs> like, let's be serious here. Yeah, I would have streamed the Guardians. But Cavs are healthy. They're as healthy as they've been. Only Isaac Okoro and, well, Dean and uh, Ty Jerome are really out. And Craig, I guess, too. But Craig really wasn't playing much. Thank God we got a little extra depth. And thank God we're healthy. I just need this team to uh, stay healthy for my sanity. And for mine and your sanity. <laughs> oh, Warriors play the Spurs again. God, it seems like every time I look, they're playing the Spurs. Oh, early afternoon ball. Of course, you see the thumbnail. I got Spider in the mask. I specifically looked for a picture of Spider in a mask. It's like, if I'm going to use Spider in my thumbnail, I got to have him in the mask. If you've noticed in my thumbnails, really since I started using players, I've rotated them. I usually go about a week or two before going back to that player. Now, come playoff time, I might use a player twice. Who knows? All right, so 11 to 6 Cavs early on here. Great start. Let's see if they can keep it up. There's the lovely Serena Winters. Wearing bright ass colors today. Love it. Flower pattern. Okay, cool. She used to work for the Sixers, so that's nice. All right. Guardians can carry, keep this momentum, right? I hope so. Here's Gordon. Gets it to Jackson against Garland. Jokic inside, and there's another foul. So I believe this would be a side out. Yep, it'll be a an inbound on the side, just in front, just next to their bench. Gordon against Mobley. Here's Jackson guarded by Garland. Over to Gordon. MPJ. Struess on Jokic. The heck was Allen doing? <laughs> what was he looking for? Three is good by Porter. Dude, Allen was looking everywhere but where the ball was. It's like, dude. Ball's right there. What are you looking for? Garland brings it up. 11 to 8. And almost lost it. Garland goes back to get it. It was tipped, so no backcourt. Over and back, I should say. Turnaround jump bars. Good by Garland. I'm sure, it was a little weird for these guys to get out of routine. You know, no uh, morning shoot around. Here's Porter. Good closeout by Struess. Up and good. Okay, I gotta wait, make sure that my thing is woken up. All right. Drives Garland to no. Rolls off the back. 13 to 10. Inside Porter again. Good. So, yeah, we're just gonna get cooked by Porter again, huh? Again and again. Okay. Lost the ball, and nobody goes to goes to get it except for Mitchell. They just stared at it. Uh, Mitchell's like, oh, crap, I gotta go get the ball. He's the only one with any awareness, seemingly. Mitchell against Gordon. Inside, and it's bad out of bounds. It'll stay with the Cavs with 3.8 on the shot clock. Cavs up by one. Oh, excuse me. Three point in on a shot clock. Seven oh eight left in the first. All right. Mitchell gonna inbound it on the baseline. Levert has checked in. Put it up. And no good by Allen. Interesting player to get the ball to in that situation. Here's Porter. Drives. Step back to Nick. He missed it. Lucky bounce for us. 
Now bounce for them. Here comes Mitchell. Mitchell for three. Good, but it won't count because of a foul. Foul will be on Reggie Jackson. Only if we had Lori Markinen. Yeah, but if we had Lair Lowry, we probably don't have Mitchell. Here's Allen. Struess. Inside corner. Here's Levert. Out to Mobley. 4-3 is good. Just like he did against Philly. He's been way more confident when his three with his three ball. And it's weird because he'll come back from injury, and then all of a sudden he'll just start hitting threes. And then there's one by Reggie Jackson. 16 to 15, 618 to go here in the first. Here's Mitchell, the lob, knocked out of bounds. It all was knocked off. The, I thought the, the Nuggets tipped it. Should be our ball, shouldn't it? Because the Nuggets tipped it. Unless they say it's off of Allen. But anyways, it's Nugget ball. Classic refs. It was all that would have been our ball. Jackson, three is good. Well, thank you, refs. Should have been our ball, but yeah, whatever. And, J and JB is still kind of mad about that. We got a timeout so we can yell at the refs. He calls a timeout, I think, just to yell at the refs. It's so funny. Oh, he's something else, man. I couldn't be no coach. No worse than JB Bickerstaff. Man... I think a scarecrow could be a better coach than JB. Literally, like, JB only really worries about yelling at the refs. So, yeah, Braun, Caldwell Pope, Jokic, Porter Jr., and Gordon on the floor for the Nuggets. Mobley, Allen, Mitchell, Struess, and Lavert for the Cavs. Do you believe in love and around? Yeah, of course, the Cavs are the only game going on right now. So, I don't really, there's nothing else to really look at. I mean, I could look at, I mean, the, the Guardians will be starting up soon. So, there's that. In fact, I'm going to uh, pull up the scoreboard for baseball on the ESPN site. Keep track of those games. Because there's no basketball going on right now besides March Madness. 4-1. Ooh, wow. The Angels might actually win a game. Philly up 5-3, top 8. Uh, Milwaukee beating the Mets 4-1. to The Mets are ass. How about the Pirates coming back from, like, what? I don't know, like 6-something. Was it 5 nothing, Something like that? <laughs> They're winning 7-6. to six. The Pirates might actually be something to watch. Are they going to be good? That's yet to be seen, but they're going to be fun. Washington beating Cincinnati. That's lovely. Toronto beating Tampa 9-1. to Last I saw, Kansas City was smothering the Twins, though. That's, that's beautiful. Beautiful sight to see. Cavs play the Nuggets. What's up, Rudy? Yep, yes, we do. Start of a uh, nice little five-game road trip in four cities. They wrap up the road trip in L.A. back-to-back, 3.30 start times. And, of course, both games are on cable for some reason. So, again, there's, the, there's what we got coming up this week. Denver, Utah, followed by Phoenix the next night. Lovely. April 6th, and then 7th, we have L.A., and then we're back at home for the final three games of the year. I know they are. The Astros getting pounded this series for them. Damn. All right, here's Stroot. Oh, that's Nons, that's Nyang. Here's Levert to Allen. Stroos to Allen. Got trapped. Stroos back to Allen. Little peekaboo, and it's taken by the Nuggets after the miss. 
Mitchell's still on the floor. Hey, Alan! He told Jokic, get the hell out of here, boy. Go watch your racehorses. Here's Levert. For three. And remember, he has a bad wrist, so his wrist must be feeling a little bit better for him to even think about shooting that ball. All right. Here's Jokic. And a foul on uh, Struess. All right. A block by Allen. Blocking Jokic? Okay. So here's another inbound from Caldwell Pope. Here's Braun, the former Jayhawk. His brother, of course, plays for the Jayhawks. Over to Jokic against Allen. Backing him down. Goes up and he missed it. And he got a 24 violation. Jokic is adamant that he got it off. But I don't think he did. There's Coach Malone. I don't know if he did. Well, we'll see. Here's Allen. Mitchell. Back to Allen. Spins up. And he... Bad roll. That ball just... God. Here's Braun. Up and... No good. Got his own miss. MPJ. Missed again. Taken by Nyang, who has been scorching, actually. He cooked his own his old team. Here's Levert. Baseline. Kicks it out. Nyang. Drives the lob. And a flush by Allen. Yo, this team is actually cooking tonight. They must have had a good Easter night dinner or something. Damn. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. 3.57 to go here in the first. Here's Jokic. Out. Back inside Jokic. Hook. No, he missed it. Tipping is good. And it's 21-20. And points in the paint for the Cavs. Sam Merrill set the comeback in. Three ball. No. Bad. It was bad roll. Ay ay ay. Here comes Porter Jr. Jokic inside against Allen. Been good. 22-21 Nuggets lead. 3.16 to go in the first. What? Mitchell. Gonna bring it up with the mask on. Gets it to Struess to Allen. Allen runs in. Hook. Short. Bro, what are we, what are, what are these shots by Allen, bro? Gotta put more oomph on that ball, bro. Damn. Up and a foul. <sighs> All right. Now Niang talking to the ref. I just noticed we have what's his face as a ref. Oh boy, the guy that hates Chris Paul. You know, it's going to be an interesting game when that guy is our freaking ref. Carlos Carrasco. Yes, sir. He pitches tonight or today. Cat Guardians looking for the sweep against Paul Blackburn. Free throw is coming up for Jokic. Free throw up and no good for Jokic. Merrill and Mobley return. Gordon will take a seat. I think that's Holiday on the floor now for the uh, Nugs. Free throw number two is good. So, yeah, let's get on the floor here. Mobley, Garland, Yang, Levert, Merrill for the Cavs. Jokic, Cobra, Pope, Watson, Holiday, and Braun for the Nugs. Here's Garland. Corner for Niang. Drives up off the glass and in. See, that's how you do it. Hit it off the glass. That's how you do it. All right, here's Jokic. Holiday. 
inside. Jokic spins up and another foul. Is this how this game's gonna be? Huh? Uh, I I think I think this is how this game's gonna wind up being. It's a foul fest. Especially on the other side. Oh, man. Yeah, Carlos Carrasco pitches today for the guards. And then McKenzie pitches tomorrow. I will be live later tonight for my series recap for the A's series, win or loss tonight, because we won the series already. I did say we were probably going to win three or four. We'll see if we can complete the fourth, but if we don't, we don't. Oh, well, we won the series. We were going to lose at some point. Free throw number two is no good. Only a one-point lead for Denver. 2-12 to go here in the first. Here's Levert. Mer or Niang. I thought that was Merrill for some reason. Here's Garland. Oh, yeah, he saw somebody he liked in the freaking like third row behind the stands there. And yeah, buddy, we don't have Manute Bowl on the floor. Classic Garland turnover. He, he does that every game. He needs to freaking settle down with the damn turnovers. I don't think I've ever seen him turnover prone. Jokic. School coaches would have torn him a new one with those turnovers. Corner. Got it. For three. So, yeah, thanks a lot, DG. You just gave him three extra points because you can't freaking stop turning the ball over. Merrill for three. Missed it, but a foul. I believe that'll be a three-point foul, so he'll have three shots coming up for Sam Merrill. Yeah. Shooting foul on Justin Holiday. It should be a three-point foul. They're going to look at it. They might be looking at it. Yep, of course they're going to look at it. Wow, risking your challenge in the first quarter. That's interesting. By the way, um, I pray for anybody doing the me versus Nuggets challenge tonight. This might be a high scoring game. By the way, Washington, bases loaded, top eight against Cincinnati. 11 0 Kansas City over Minnesota. Oh my God. Hope we don't lose tonight, man, because the trolling would be top notch. Dr. Sticks. Stay up late to watch that game. I know. Hate how we play out west. But hey, the best part is, uh, after this, I don't think we go out west uh, the rest of the year. For the most part, we're already in Oakland. We don't go to L.A. for the Dodgers. I mean, no, the latest, the next time we go out west, I think will be the, the Angels. And then the next furthest out west we go is Colorado, I'm pretty certain. Because, of course, we play every team now. So, yeah, we're already in Oakland. We have Seattle coming up after this. So, that we're done with that. Next time we play these two, we'll be, uh, we play Seattle, I think, next week or so. At home. So, yeah, they are reviewing it. Let's see what they reviewed here. Tennessee making things fun against Purdue. 7 0 run for the Vols. See what they say. Hmm. Watch him freaking overturn it. Oh, there's no foul. No foul. All right, so here's the rule. All right. So, ESPN. Yeah. Mobley versus Jokic. Okay, so, yeah, there was no foul. Okay. So, we have a jump ball. Mobley versus Jokic. Essentially, they said that Merrill embellished. In hockey, you get there's embellishment. That's a penalty. Yeah, they actually have that. Where, like, you sell if a foul to try to get a, a penalty. That happens in soccer, too. Guys will literally not get touched, and they'll fall over to try to draw something. 
Oh, yeah, Eddie Rosario's in, in uh, Washington. Yep. He's been in quite a few places. And the tip is won by the Cavs. 27-23. 127 to go in the first. Here's Garland. Merrill fires and in and out. Oh, here comes the Nuggets. Up by four. Run. Tries to get around a screen. Here's Jokic inside. Up and he missed, but he got a tip in. Yo, we have like no attempts at all in terms of getting rebounds off misses. Let them get easy second chance points because they're like right on the rim. Less than a minute to go. Garland out. Lavert back to Garland. 10 on the shot clock. Garland. And now we buffer. Up and a fall. That was called. And now we're buffering a little bit. All right. No, we go to LA to play the Dodgers because the Dodgers came here last year. They did? I don't remember that. I do not remember them coming here. No, we went there. I swore we went there. Yep. I do not remember them coming here. Have to look. I swore we went there last year. I don't know. Who cares? Free throw up and no good. Splits the pair. Classic Cavs. That's the Cavs special. Splitting pairs. Pairs. Here's the Nuggets. We lost the ball. But still by Levert. Pushing the ball up the floor. The lob up ahead. Missed it. Mobley with it back. Comes up. Gets the basket. Good cleanup by Evan. 21 seconds to go in the first. Down by three. All right. Jackson just going to hold on to it here for a second. Inside for Jokic. Guarded by Mobley. Inside. Fouled. Every time on the floor on defense. Foul, 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 foul. That's legit got to be our freaking motive. When on defense, you get beat, you foul. That'd be a good strategy if you're facing a team that stinks from the free throw line. Only problem is, you do it enough, you end up losing players because they get they foul out. Free throw is good. Team just cannot play clean defense. They always got to foul. Some refs will let you play a little physical, especially in the, in the playoffs. They won't call a lot of stuff like that. They'll let them play a little physical in the playoffs. Free throw number two is no good. Down by four. And it goes out of bounds back to the damn Nuggets. Come on, guys. Why was it sloppy? Damn. Did they eat their freaking Easter dinner? <laughs> Did they have a little too much ham? Jokic. Uh, short. And that's it for the first. Down by a four. It could have been much, much worse. Texas and Cubs are five tied five to five. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ron Washington officially got his first win as a manager. Well... In L.A. He's been a manager before, but that pass to freaking Struess is lit, especially from that angle. It just showed. By the way, Ohio State got another commit just a little bit ago before the game started, so I will be doing a video on the uh, Buckeye channel after this game wraps up. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be keeping an eye on the guards because they'll start, they're starting up here soon too. They're in the top of the first, and there's two out. I'll be keeping tabs on them. Like I said, I don't really care if they win. or I mean, I don't care if they lose, because they already won the series. Besides, it's like been very... This, my teams just cannot seem to sweep series. I'm just happy we won the freaking series. Even though, yeah, it is the A's, but still. But still. E -day, people are slandering Zach E. Day. Zach E. Day isn't even like that big of a, that good of a dude. Like player. He's just a player. You know? 
He's a foul merchant. He's like Jokic. He's just like Jokic. I think, yeah, I think he's legit just like Jokic. Except he doesn't have a shot. Like, he doesn't have a, like, he can't shoot. All he does is hook. He's like, he's like a Jokic and Robin Lopez hybrid. All he does is hook shots. From what I've seen. He probably has more of a, a little bit deeper bag than that, but we just haven't really seen much. I'm interested to see how he looks in the uh, in the league and how long he lasts. Oh, Deshaun Stewart, who uh, plays with Desi Jones, who I talked about last night, committed today. So two teammates from the same high school committed back-to-back -back days. Ohio State low-key uh, establishing a foothold in Jersey. Love to see it. So, Mobley, Garland, Niang, Levert, Merrill for the Cavs. And then Porter Jr., Jackson, Watson, Holiday, and Jordan on the floor for the Nuggets. <laughs> DeAndre Jordan. Wow. All right, so here comes the Nugs bringing it up. Holiday gives it off. Here's Jackson. Jackson. Dancing around. And he traveled. I believe he traveled or there was an offensive, like, uh, illegal screen. One of the two. <laughs> Definitely one of the two happened. All right, here comes the Cavs. Levert. To Garland. Back to Karras. Karras drives. Kick out. Merrill. Here's Garland. Over to Niang. He'll drive. Floater. Up. Miss. Tip in. Good. Good job cleaning up your own mess. 11-13 and counting here in the half. Here's MPJ. Jackson. Guarded by Lovert. Now he's got Niang on him. Niang. Uh, I'm telling you, Le yeah, Le Ooh, and then there's a little tumble. Here comes the Cavs. Nice pass to Merrill. Peek a little. Ah, uh, just too short. Shot was going down a little too short. Did you he know that Rishi Rice? Uh, yeah, he's in big trouble. Got in an accident and he ran off. Can't do that. That's a hit and run. Up for two. No good. They always say it. So if you have an accident, stick stick around. Here's Garland pushing it up the floor, and it's good. Wow. Garland getting aggressive. I love that. Need to see that from him more, though. 16 points in the paint for the Cavs. Jackson. Here's MPJ. Jackson. Peyton Watson in the corner there. Pull up for threes. Good. 33-30 Nuggets lead. 9.58 to go in the half. Here comes the Cavs. Inside. Mobley. Up and good. Ooh, nice move. Good move, Evan. Little spinning hook. Jackson. Here's the drive. That's Watson. Oh, a steal by Nyang. Here comes Garland. He's pushing it up again. And he'll go up and he'll miss it. Put back dunk by Mobley. But wait, did they not count that? Oh, yeah, they did. They did. They did. I thought they didn't. I was like, wait, why wouldn't they count that? Timeout Nuggets. I saw one of our players on the bench like this. Like, what are you, what's that all about? <laughs> but it's like, okay, they counted it. I thought for some reason they wouldn't. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? But no, Cavs have a lead. Playing sound ball. I've said this before. This team looks like they know what they're doing when Mitchell's playing. Versus when he's not, it's like they're, they know they're missing something. You could just see it. Like, oh yeah, they're definitely missing something. Mm. Yeah. Accident happened at 6.20 p.m. in Dallas. Yep. Two cars were racing. And Rasheed Rice was the registered owner of one of the cars. So, they're looking for him. Dang. Wow. 
Uh, five minutes to go, and it's tied at 58. Man, here, look at Tennessee pull up to missed it. If I'm mistaken, I think I streamed a Tennessee Purdue playoff game, uh, tournament game a couple of years ago when Carson Edwards was on Purdue and he was lighting it up. Because I remember talking about Carson Edwards going sicko mode one of those games where he would just hit everything. I remember that game. I, I'm pretty sure they played each other. Zaki Day. But yeah, shout out to the 19 people watching. I will be live uh, for some Guardians baseball. I believe tomorrow against Seattle, I'll be live. Tristan McKenzie on the mound for the guards. That should be fun. First start for him of the year. And then I'll be back on Tuesday for Cavs in Utah. And then Wednesday, I'll be live for Cavs and Sons. We're doing Guardians games every once in a while. Because their season just started, so, yeah. And then as far as uh, the national championship, I'm probably streaming the Natty. Most likely, I won't be streaming the Final Four because I'll be doing WrestleMania. Because that card is looking elite right now. It's looking juicy as heck right now. They were thinking there was a foul right there. Because Evan was going up. And then maybe they thought there was a foul on the Nuggets. They see there's Jordan and Mobley going at it. Here's the Nuggets with the ball. Jackson. Kick out. Pull up. Good. Feel like these two teams are gonna be exchanging the lead quite a bit until some until one of them pulls away. 909 to go in the half. Here's Niang. Mitchell comes back, fires for three, and he's just a bit off. Had a good look. Just didn't go in. So Marcus Morris is on the floor now for the nugget for the Cavs. Almost said nuggets. Here's a three. No good. And then we just stare at the ball. And I think he might have stepped out or something. So it'll be Cavs' ball. He must have stepped. Yeah, he stepped out. DeAndre Jordan tried to save it. All right, so here comes Mitchell on the floor, taking it up from his old pal, George Niang. Played with him in Utah. Here's Levert. Screened by Mobley. Mitchell drives up. Hold, and he'll go to line for two shots. But not going to lie, dude, Marcus Morris is huge for this team. Because he brings that dog mentality. And he's good for the locker room, right? I mean, heck, the dude literally got ejected a couple of games ago. And the Cavs went on a tear. <laughs> kind of what they needed, a little slap in the face. No pun intended, of course. Not really, but you, get, you know what I'm saying. First free throw is up and good for Spider. Ties the game at 35. Mitchell with one more coming up. All right, here's the second from Spider. And good. So Connor Jr. will inbound it. Jackson will bring it up. Levert, ready to welcome him at the half-court line. Uh, almost stolen. Oh, they ran into one another. Little collision. Drives up. Oh, and a bad pass. Here comes Levert. He's pushing it up himself. Goes up. Foul and one for Karis Levert. Ah, what is it? Oh, ah, the hand. Who nothing Oakland? Yeah. Carlos is probably going to get cooked because he's not what he used to be. It's like that, it's like that uh, Toby Keith song. It's like the Toby Keith song, Rest in Peace. Uh, I ain't as good as I once was. Because he, he's, you know, being in New York, cooked him. Uh, free throws. Good. Cavs up four. 
Four turnovers for the Cavs. Only seven for the Nuggets. Uh, eight minutes approaching here in the second. Drives up and can't see it, but he missed it. Here comes the Cavs. Mitchell goes up, misses somehow. I Again, it kind of got blotchy, so I couldn't see how exactly how that went. Here's the pass to Jordan to the corner. Through, oh, he hits it up and good. Yeah, guards it down uh, 2 nothing. Yep, first time they've trailed. Uh, well, first time they haven't scored first, I should say. Yeah. And there's a lazy pass is out of bounds back to the Cavs. Oh, yeah, see? Okay, Mitchell almost going in for the layup. Got blocked. So Morris will inbound on the side. Watson comes out. Here's Mitchell. Cavs up one. Spider around the screen. Pulls up. And he's short. Uh, tell you one thing. He's not afraid to shoot the three. Corner. Three ball. Too strong. Taken easily by Levert. Levert will take it up the floor. Drives over to Morris for a three. It's the three. That's why you play him, Baldo. Hey, Baldo, that's why you play him. Because he's good. Died. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to play him. No, you play him, stupid. Here's a three the other way is good for Porter Jr. 42 30, 41. Here's Levert. 6.30 to go. Levert fires. It's the three. Okay, if we could just, like, you know, get some stops and keep doing this, we'll be fine. 6.20 to go in the half. Gordon against Niang. Now they got Porter Jr. and Niang going at it. Out of bounds, but great block. Great block by Evan. Swatting that ball down, and now they're going to take him out. You did too good there. I think they took him out. Nice three ball by Levert, though. That wrist must be feeling good. And then there's the block. Runner shot. It's a foul. Offensive foul on Porter. Wow. Offensive foul. They're looking at it. All because of his, his leg being out. That's what Struce was motioning. He was like, hey, his freaking knee was out, man. He tripped me. Here's Mitchell to Levert. Levert drives. Get a... Side, and Morris stepped out of bounds. You got to watch where your feet are, my dude. Keep an eye on your feet. Got to know, like, your boundary. Got to have that in your head. Think, okay, am I too close? 540 took a too wide of a step, I think. Braun, the Jokic. Braun. Got it by Mitchell. Drives baseline. Kicks it stolen easily by Struess. Passed it right to him. Here's Levert. Back to Struess. Lost the ball. Got it back. Here's Morris. Cook him, Morris. Cook him. He's the other better Kansas player. <laughs> Thing took like four bounces. A little Jayhawk on Jayhawk action, I believe that was. I took him, Marcus. You're better than him. You're the better Kansas player. <laughs> oh, and a foul. You're the better Kansas player. <laughs> You're better than him. You clear him big time. Yeah, two to nothing, Oakland. Top second. Free throws for KCP. Former Piston. Yeah, how about that? Reggie Jackson and KCP used to be teammates on Detroit before they went their separate ways. He's pretty much been on Denver for the longest time, besides uh, his days in Detroit. He hasn't been too many other places besides. Oh, uh, he was also with LA too, where he had the wear the ankle monitor. I remember that. 
Then he wound up in Denver. Free throw number two is good. All right. Cavs up two. They're checking Porter Jr.'s elbow. It must have got scratched. They got to put stuff on it. Yeah, you can see it's... Ugh. Yeah, right on the like inner part of the elbow, kind of. Where, it, where the, the skin kind of goes in. Like right around here. Must have got scratched. He got an owie. An owie wowie. Yeah, watch the freaking guards get hooked by Blackburn. Blackburn's actually good, so I wouldn't be surprised. But we absolutely decimated their other three pitchers, though. Their other three pitchers couldn't stand up to her offensive awesomeness. Jones for three. Damn. Up by six against Tennessee. Are we going to get, like, you know, Alabama versus Purdue in the freaking natty or something? Here's Struess. Out to Morris. And there's a foul. Allen went down, and Jokic is, like, pleading with the guys to look at it, I guess. He tackled. He, he freaking tackled. Yeah. He freaking tackled Jared Allen. He's like, he's bringing him down. Like, yo. Oh, my goodness. He, he tackles him. Like, bro. He's like, he tackled him like a fan came on the floor or something. 45-43. Here's Garland. Drives up and out of bounds. Out of turn to be a turnover. Oh, Darius. Hey, Darius, you know you can pass the ball, right? But of course I say that. He'd pass the ball as he's going to the rim and it'd be a turnover. Here's Braun to Jokic. Jackson. I'm sorry, is that, that's KCP, not Jackson. God. Get mixed up. Here's Jokic inside. Foul and one. Come on. Always got a foul on the defensive end. Always got a foul. <sighs> One thing about the Cavs is, though, leads disappear very quickly for this team. So Jokic shooting a shot. Free throw. It's a turnover. And... Ron just picked his pocket right off the bat. Down by three, 420 to go here in the half. 7 0 run in the last minute for the Nuggets in corner. Three ball. Missed it. And then stolen by Struess. Got his lick back, you could say. Four minutes approaching. Struess. Allen. Floater. Off the glass. Hey, he used the glass. Wow, Allen actually used the glass. I'm actually very impressed. Wow. Gordon gives it to Jokic. Here's Holiday. Pull up. Good for two. Wow. 6860 Purdue. Tennessee. Oh, Vols. Something else. Allen. Drives on Jokic. Out to Struess. Pull up two. Down by one. Again. 3.23 to go. Gordon over to Caldwell Pope. Pope for three. Got it again. Guys, guard these guys, dude. Freaking stay on their hip or something, man. God. Here's Mitchell. Allen. Got fouled. Oh my goodness, man. I'm second now. 2 0 Oakland. <sighs> By the way, they're, they're in the 10th inning again in Miami? Bro, what? Cavs are freaking falling apart. Oh, Darius, told ya. What is this? Are NBA games only two halves now? Are they only two quarters? Last time I checked, it's four quarters. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, is it like an Easter thing? Like, uh, 
Are, are games only two quarters now? I mean, I know NCAA games are two halves. Last I checked, uh, there's four quarters in an NBA game. Yeah, last time I checked, there was four quarters in an NBA game. So, inside, kick out, Braun, three, got it. Ah, uh, Cavs. Here's Mitchell. And another dumb turnover. Ah, uh, here we go. Up and good. And it's eight, not eight. 58-50, timeout, bald man. Cavs called timeout because they all of a sudden can't take care of the ball. Yep. Can't take care of the ball. That's what happens. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can't take care of the ball. I don't know why this team all of a sudden just cannot do it, but they, they just will not do it. Oh, wow. Reds, Reds beat the Nats on a walk-off. Ooh. Ooh, and Detroit, Chicago, top nine, tied at two. Wow. Wow. Obviously, we got a lot of time left, but damn, the Cavs got, have got to wake up. Oh, wow. Seven-point lead for Purdue. Ide has 39 points and 16 rebounds. Wow. Tennessee getting clapped. That's funny. Oh, the Cavs. There's something else. They really are. I was 7-4. I would also have 38 points in this game. I'm pretty sure anybody, if anybody was 7-4, they'd have... At least 38 points. Wow. Uh. Ron has seven points. Wow. But yeah, it looks like Purdue's going to the Final Four. Nebraska was set to make his first start of the season back with Cleveland. He had a 3.77 ERA in 11 seasons with the Guardians to begin his career. So Joe Tipton says the uh, Cavs, I mean the Cavs, Ohio State has reached out to uh, Georgetown transfer guard Rowan Brumbaugh. So we can add his name to the list. See how that goes. I've heard like Michi Johnson, who already... Oh, there's a block by freaking uh, ED. Yep. It's a wrap. Purdue's going on. Yes, sir. Wow. 224 and counting here in the half. Cavs down eight. That's... End the half on a high note, why don't we? Gonna maybe get a little bit of a run going heading into the half. Allen, here's Garland. Allen, floater, good. All right. Okay. 58-52. Two minutes left here in the half. Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Where's Johnson? Three ball is good by Pope. Wow. Mobley. Here's Allen. Garland. Pull up for two. It's short. My God, dude. Shooting a medicine ball out here. What are we doing, man? Wow. Jokic on Mobley. Lost the ball out of bounds. Back to the Cavs. Stay within striking distance heading into the half. You don't necessarily have to be in the lead. Just stay within striking distance for the second half. Here's Mobley. 
Back to Mitchell. Allen. <laughs> Little contact. And then he lost the ball. My God, Jarrett. I get it, though, because you were kind of falling down. But, bro, there was the lob and the dunk to Mobley. But, dude, Jarrett, <laughs> what was that? What was that, bro? What was that? <laughs> wow. And, of course, the refs like, just look at it like, uh, contact. But no foul. Not if that was on the other. If that was rules reversed. They would have caught a foul on us for no reason. Two balls. No good. And Allen just lets Jokic get the ball back. And he missed it again. But he gets the putt back because freaking Jokic. Nobody wants to guard freaking Jokic. 54-63. Struess to Mobley. Mitchell for three is off. My God, this team. Ah. Here in the corner, lazy ass defense, just leaving guys open. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Jokic up and good for two. Yep, the guys are ready for halftime. They're ready for halftime. Yep, they're ready for halftime. Wow, lazy ass defense again. Just uh, uh, uh. uh. I believe that was a foul. 5.4 to go. Yeah, foul on Christian Braun. Cavs will inbound just inside their, inside their zone, pretty much. Here's Mitchell. Inside, Mobley up and good before the buzzer. So we'll go in the half down by 9 instead of 11. Whoa. All right, so uh, at halftime, 65-56 Cavs trailing. And according to uh, Adarius, the game should be over because there's only two quarters in a game now, apparently. So uh, got a whole other half to go. Got to play better than this, though. Jeez. So looking at the box score, swing arming defense is my favorite thing to watch in the NBA. All right. Wow, Pittsburgh up 9-7. to seven. Of course, Miami has runners on the corners with one out. Ooh. So for the Cavs, 13 by Mobley, 11 by Allen. Just what you'd love to see. You know, your big men getting after it. Mitchell has 7. Garland has 5. Struess has 4. Not great stuff from your guards. And then uh, off the bench, 9 for Levert, 4 for Niang, and 3 for Morris. Merrill has only shot three times, missed all three, played five minutes. Now for the Nuggets, all but one of their starters are in double figures besides Gordon. 14 apiece for Jokic and Caldwell Pope, 11 apiece for Jackson and Porter Jr., three for Gordon. Off the bench, seven for Braun, four for Holiday, and one point for Peyton Watson. And that's it. What's up, Paulie? Says, good luck, Cavs. Go Nuggets. I mean, we're facing the defending champs, you know? What else is there to say? Obviously, we all knew this was going to be a tough game. All right, I'm going to turn this off. I don't need the thing on anymore. Okay, let's check Twitter. Let's see what people are complaining about. Because we love to complain. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, people were slandering Mobley and yes, sir. We cooking. Oh, Encarnacion Strand walked off the Nationals. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. Yes. Yes. That's very impressive. Yes. Our dad is going to make a freaking video. Yes. Dashie's going to make a video. Yes, he is. He's going to make a video laughing at the Guardians for no reason. <laughs> wow, you won a game. Congratulations. Oh, I mean, you're going to win a game at some point, right? You weren't, you weren't going to get swept by the freaking Nationals, right? 
Yes. 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 All right, if Jokic doesn't foul out, and he doesn't very often, the Nuggets are hard to match. It's funny because we smoked these guys in Cleveland. I can't believe we did that. I didn't. I don't think I remember watching a lot of that game. But like, I remember tuning in, and it's like, yo, we're smoking these guys. It was in Cleveland, too. The Cavs are, of course, way better in Cleveland than they are on the road. As is a lot of teams. I mean, look at the Celtics. They've lost only three home games the entire year. Uh, oh, man. But, you know, there's a lot of time left. Oh, uh, man. Okay, Mitchell's trying to take it easy heading into the playoffs. There's a lot of gagging around. You could just see it, like in the way he plays. Evan Mobley, though, just out of nowhere developing a three-point shot. Like, okay, bucko, you just gonna come out shooting threes, you know, and, and hitting them? And he, he's done that now uh, both times coming off injury. He comes in, he comes back, starts hitting threes, then it's like it wears off. And then before I know it, he's back to uh, shooting a lot, but he doesn't make them. If he can just consistently make them, then yeah, he's very, 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 very good. Just has to make them. How about Ohio State, man? They just got another commit today from uh, Deshaun Stewart. The same school that Desi Jones goes to. DePaul Catholic. So, a little foothold in Jersey now, huh? Yeah. The haters don't want to see that, though. They don't want to see Ohio State get a foothold in Jersey. Because I'll tell you what, there are some ballers that come out of Jersey. I mean, you have, like, the whole private school league over there. I don't know, I think there's a name for that league. Like, where Bosco, uh, Bergen, Paramus, who I saw in person, by the way. I saw Paramus Catholic play when Jabril Peppers played there. In fact, I'm pretty sure I sat next to his uh, family. I'm pretty sure. It was one of the players' family. It was pretty dope. He got hurt in that game, of course, but still. I mean, cool to see a team from out of state. When I lived in Ohio, I always tried to make it a mission to go at least to see a team. If any team from out of state, Pennsylvania, because, you know, you see a lot of Pennsylvania teams come to Ohio. But anytime like, a team from, like, out of state, like, far out of state would come around, I'd try to go see them. Especially like Paramus, because they were a national powerhouse. I mean, they still kind of are. But man, back then, they were insane. <sighs> yes, sir. Ohio State, man. Like I said in my stream on the channel, by the way, uh, now we're number two? Yo. We're number two now in the 247 rankings. That's freaking nuts. Wow. That's freaking crazy. Like I said in my stream on my Buckeye channel last night, the worst fear that our rivals had has been realized. Ohio State has figured out their NIL, they've got it rolling, and it's a machine. Because if you paid attention to how this team was, right, when this, before we really got it figured out, we would always lose the top recruits to these teams like Georgia, Alabama, USC, and all them, and a and because they had their NIL figured out, and we just weren't able to shell up the funds to acquire, to get players. You know, because players now want to get paid and, you know, all that stuff, because that's the way NIL is now. And Ohio State figured it out. And, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, we are one of the uh, premier schools now. 
we're starting to get these top tier players. We got one of the best linebackers in the freaking nation last night. And we're probably going to we're in the running for one of the top offensive linemen in the nation for a couple of the top uh, receivers as well as a couple of the top corners. We already got one of the top safeties. I'm telling you, man, this is going to be a fun couple of years. To mention, at Ohio State, not only, like I said last night in my stream as well, not only are you getting paid, you're getting developed too. Back then, it was only you'd come to Ohio State to get developed. That was our calling card. That was our ace in our, in our sleeve. You come here to get developed. You want to go to the league? Come to Ohio State. Look at what we've done, especially at receiver. Now, you can get a little bit of money, right? You know, you get that NIL, a solid bag, and you get developed. Not to mention, I mean, who wouldn't want to play for a freaking Brian Hartline, right? Well, how about James Laurinaitis? Make this up, names sound familiar. That's Road Warrior Animal's son. You know, for any wrestling fans, you know, Road Warrior Animal. Oh, shh. <laughs> I tell you what, the Buckeyes are going to have a one hell of a rush. For sure. On both sides. Our rushing attack is going to be un is going to be elite and our pass rush is going to be insane. And we brought in a coach who can actually help out these guys when it comes to uh I guess developing a pass rush meaning pass rush moves, right? Get to the quarterback. This team is going to be fun. I cannot wait, man. Am I going to be... Now, as far as me streaming the spring game, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream it. You know? I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream it. I might stream it, but just it'll be a hangout stream. So there's a look at Denver, Colorado. Downtown. Nothing like a little mid-afternoon basketball. What's up, Yusuf? Good afternoon. Because usually he says good evening. Well, it's not evening out here. It's good afternoon. By the way, how are the guards doing? Because I'm not really paying attention to them right now. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, they're down 3 nothing now? Oh. Yeah, they're probably going to lose. Oh, well, they were going to lose at some point. Let's say cookie is uh <laughs> cooked. But like I said, in the words of Toby Keith, rest in peace, I ain't as good as I once was. Because he isn't. He's old. And being in New York cooked him. New York really got the, the last little bit of good stuff out of him, which wasn't much, because we I, I tell you, Tito emptied the tank of that from that dude. He used up every little bit of good stuff that he had. And we got him back. This is essentially just a farewell, a little bye-bye. You know, I'm here just for a little swan song. I'm only here because Gavin's hurt. Yeah. Yep, he's, he's starting because Gavin's hurt. But he'll be back soon. He's just got to ramp up and get back in the starter shape. I'm in Denver, bit to the west of downtown. Yes, sir. Not, I mean, Denver seems like a nice-ass city, though. I've been Mitchell's missed this last five. Oh, before. Really? Now they're going to the fourth inning. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Well, like I said, they were going to lose at some point. Eckburn is perfect through three. Oh. Yeah, the Guardians would go from scoring like 20-some runs against three bums to getting getting no hit by Blackburn. <laughs> they would do that. That's what you'd call using up all your runs on three scrubs. Granted, they didn't really score all their runs until they hit the bullpen yesterday. I just feel like the, the Guardians just got to relax and get in their groove. Yep. Uh, oh, well, like I said, they were going to lose at some point. So, Antford Winstonworth, what a name. Not sure again if this guy's legit. Pat Murphy on 247 said, 
Ohio State's pursuit of Oregon running back coach Carlos Lachlan. It sounds like it could be done early next week. So it's legit. Gillespie and DeMarco were very clearly the top choices. This was kept pretty tight lip for a while. They're not settling at all. Top assistant coaches in the country and his players love him. I'm intrigued. You know, I'm intrigued. I'm I'm high I'm high key intrigued. Ohio State beat two Final Four teams. Yeah, we did. And you know what? If they had just canned that bum freaking Holt mid earlier, might have been participating in this. No. Gene Smith wanted to keep Holt mid just all Girl. I still believe if we had fired Holt mid earlier, like we should have, we might have been in the tournament. By the time we fired him, we were already up against it. We had to go on this massive run again, and we damn near did. We damn near did. So, yeah, it is what it is. You know, it's what it is. Oh, wow. So uh, Detroit swept the White Sox. White Sox are ass. Not even shocked. All right, so let's get back to the action here. San Diego's winning five zip. Ooh. Bottom two. Damn. Damn. All right, so 65-56. Reggie Jackson is back in for Braun, and Porter Jr. is in for Holiday. Oh. Okay. There's a scoreboard. 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 Oh, what happened to your friend? Uh, here's Jokic against Allen. Inside. Backing him down. Kicks it out. Jackson against Garland. Kicks it out. Good closeout by Struess. Three ball. Good. Yeah, of course he hits that because it seems like these guys hit everything. Up by 12. Here's Garland. Allen to Struess. And it goes out of bounds off of the Nuggets. You can tell the Cavs are missing Okoro. Out with a big toe injury. Of course, toe. Of course. It's like, right, big toe. Uh-huh, sure. Pass out to Allen. Goes over Cobell Pope. Here's Mitchell in the corner. It's too strong. Ah, uh, Mitchell going cold. Ugh. Down by 12. Here's Gordon against Mobley to Jokic against Allen. Another out of bounds, but it'll be off the Cavs. 68-56 Nuggets lead. Cavs just kind of lost it at the end of that first half. They were in a nice-ass battle earlier, and then it's just, blech, two ball, good again. So, yeah, these guys are now just going through that thing where they just will not miss. Okay. All right. Here's Mitchell to Mobley, gives it to Garland. Mitchell. Inside, Allen. Yeets it out of bounds. Nuggets ball. Okay, this team is uh, back to being unserious. My God, they are beyond unserious. I mean, 10 turnovers. God. Yeah, they're unserious again. Very unserious. Three ball. Good. Again. This team just will not miss. They're playing magnet ball, as people say on social media now. They're playing magnet ball. Come on, we're playing ball and hoop challenge. Up oh, and good for Mobley. Yeah, we score. We're playing ball and hoop challenge. Ball and hoop. And they're playing magnet ball. Where everything goes in. It's like they're shooting a tennis ball into a freaking Olympic-sized swimming pool. Hey, there's a steal by Garland. He's going to do no such thing as a uh, fast break. Lazily put up. Floaters missed. 
Nuggets take it off the floor. Inside for Jokic. Up and good. They're getting whatever they want now. They're getting whatever they want. Strews to Allen. Here's Mobley. Pulls up. Misses the three. This team cannot hit the side of a barn if they were standing next to it. Meanwhile, the Nuggets seem to make everything. Ball. Good. Hey, bald man, call timeout. Wow. A 13 to 2 third quarter. Do the Cavs even want to be in Denver? Yep, they're getting uh they're getting cursed again with uh lazy ass defense, just like they had the last couple times they got blown out. Against Miami, especially. They're just like, uh, I don't want to be here. I wanna uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, unless you wanna play like, you know, Orlando or like they're purposefully losing because they wanna set themselves up for a playoff matchup against the team. Like they're trying to avoid Indiana or something. Well, this is you don't have to cash out every time. Hotel vouchers to the homeless before any televised event. Huh. Wow. Homeless destroy the hotels. I think our city has paid out like 300k in damages so far from doing this. Damn. Do look good without all the bums. Damn. Wow. Yeah, Cavs playing put ball in net challenge. Difficult. Zachy Day doesn't even have to get on the ladder to cut down the net. Wow. <sighs> no Murray and the Cavs are getting crushed. It's like they don't even really care about this game. <laughs> wow. How about the Rockets? 11th seed, one game back of the Warriors. They're riding an 11 game win streak. Magic are in the fifth seed, beating the Grizzlies. One and a half behind fourth, but only a one and a half ahead of sixth. The Knicks, they're the fourth seed, one, half a game behind the Cavs, and they're at OKC tonight. Damn, Rocha. Ro roasting the crap out of Dalton Jeffries. Damn. Here's Strews for three. Brick. Uh, yep, they're playing ball and net challenge, which they're not doing very good at that. Here's Jokic. Inside, Gordon. Up and missed it. Playing volleyball with it, and there's a foul on the floor. Yeah, Cavs have not really been able to hit threes at all. I don't even want to see our, num our numbers when it comes to hit hitting our threes. Do I think Chris Baum, who? will get 11 points. Who's Chris Baum? Talking about Braun, he might be able to. Because he's facing the Cavs. Pull up. Good for two. <laughs> Making everything, like I said. Cavs can't even get a damn basket. 15 to 2 run in the last three and a half. Here's Garland over to Mitchell. Pull up two. Missed another. This team is just settling for these lame-ass jumpers, and they're missing every single one of them. Jackson. 
Porter Jr. drives. Actually got lost. Oh, he got stolen. Nice. Here comes Mitchell. Mitchell just runs right over into Mobley, and he's fouled. This team is pathetic. They're not even trying on defense at times. <sighs> Cavs went plus eight in the non-Jokic minutes earlier. Damn. Mets are 0-3. Ouch. Free throw up and good. Hey, we made a basket. Woo. All right, one more shot coming up for Evan. Second one is good. Hey, he made them both. All I'm going to say is get it to 10 by the fourth quarter, and I think we'll be in good shape. That's going to be tough because, again, just like that Heat and the Hawks game from before, uh, we have decided to just not play today, apparently. Mobley, kick out Levert. Karras is in the game, drives baseline, spins, turnaround jumper, good by Karras Levert. Well, all righty then. All right. So kick out three ball. No good. Out of bounds. It'll stay with the Nuggets. Cavs are trying to say it was off the Nuggets, but we'll see what happens. Shot by Levert was nice, though. Yeah, that shot was nice. Seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. Timeout Cavaliers. Oh, I can't get a winning streak. Last time that happened was probably when Struis hit that game winner. No, I don't think that was, was it? We haven't had a serious winning streak since before the All-Star break. We were doing good, and then we just couldn't make a damn shot. 15 to 6 third quarter thus far. The Guardians aren't doing any better either. Down 3 nothing in bottom four. Freaking Cookie Carrasco looks cooked at this point. I was worried about Cookie Carrasco because we saw how, how he was in New York. But on the bright side, though, we won the series. All that matters. You're not going to go 162 and 0. I actually did predict we were probably going to go 3 and 1 against the A's in this series. Predicted we were probably going to go 3 and 1. Jacob Frederick was out here saying, oh, we're going to sweep him. So again, Jacob freaking. When Jacob said that, I was like, yep, we're going to lose one game because when Jacob says we're going to sweep somebody, it never happens. We're talking about the same dude who damn near jinxed the Cavs earlier. Oh. Of course, we know the Guardians. They'll somehow just score like five runs out of nowhere because that's the way their offense has been. I ain't nothing San Diego top three. Oh, my God. Yeah, that Jeffries dude should not see his way, should not see Major League ball ever again for the Giants. I thought I remember, now that I think about it, I think that, yeah, last year was in uh, Cleveland for the Dodgers. So, yeah, we will be going out. To LA again, I'm pretty sure. 80 to 62. Yeah. No changes besides Levert being out there for the Cavs with Struess, Garland, Allen, and Mobley. Nuggets will have Gordon, Porter Jr., Jokic, Caldwell, Pope, and Braun. Seven minutes to go in the third. Like I said, you can, if you can somehow get it to 10, 
Heading into the fourth, you're in good shape. That's going to be the tough part, though. If only we could play magnet ball like the Nuggets were playing. Here's Struess, and bad turnover by Mobley. Just couldn't control the ball. Up and no good. Jackson gets the rebound out to Caldwell Pope. Here's Jokic. Inside. Gordon. Up and a bad miss. Out of they're going to say nugget ball. Yeah, I remember last year they played in Denver. They had the uh, time clock. The, the hoop thing was messing up. It was like off kilter. The hoop. Yeah. They had to fix the freaking basket. They have 31 rebounds. We have 16. Like, what are we doing? Getting out hustled by Jokic. Turn around. Jumpers. No good. Right back to the Nuggets for three. Got it. Yep, Cavs don't want to get rebounds tonight. Here's Struess to Allen. Allen's thinking about Minecraft again. When Allen thinks about Minecraft, he's he turns out to be a bum on the floor. Floater good by Allen, eh? It's, it's obviously a joke. I don't know if he actually thinks about Minecraft during games. I don't think he does, but it looks like he feels like he does. Is Mitchell good? Uh, yeah. I mean, he was. Hasn't been making his shots tonight, which is concerning. Corner three. No good. Wow, he actually missed. Here comes the Cavs. Mitchell isn't currently in the game, though. Mobley inside. Floater. Good. Keep doing that, and we might be able to cut the lead to 10 uh, by middle of the fourth quarter. <laughs> How old are my turkeys? I don't have no idea. Couple years old, I'm sure. I didn't know the one is. And there's a dunk by Gordon. Wow. Oh, brother. Down by 19. 18 points. Triple double for Jokic. Almost a steal. Out of bounds. Stays with the Cavs. 85-66. Wow. The lob to Gordon. Yeah, the Nuggets are going to be a handful for any team in the playoffs, obviously, with Jokic. Levert, Allen, Floater is good. Like I said, keep doing that and you'll catch up eventually. It'll just take half the freaking quarter. The rest of this quarter and the next one. Got to eventually try to get the three ball going again. Allen against Jokic. Out Pope back to Jokic and against Allen. God, Allen getting cooked. Allen is getting barbecued, dude. My God. Allen is clearly not locked in. He's thinking Minecraft. He's thinking about Minecraft on defense. Here's Allen. Hook shot. And no good. Missed it. Back comes the Nuggets. Gordon wax Garland in the face because, yeah, classic. Garland, Guardian, Guardians. Cavs players always getting hit in the face. Oh, the, Cavs, the Guardians actually have two on. Oh, my goodness. They actually have something cooking, I think. Maybe. Now that I said something, they're probably going to double play end of the inning. Uh, Y'all are looking at it, I guess. Official review. Flagrant, maybe. Mm. Or is this playing 2K20 with Cavs and Nuggets? Didn't even know they had a game today. Lots of people didn't know they had a game. They have two other 3.30 start time games on this road trip in L.A. Back to back. I didn't know both games were 3.30 starts. I thought just one was. All right, so. All right. Let's see what happened, but like, because ESPN didn't say anything of it. 
Well, 403 to go. Cavs will have it. It was an offensive foul. So here's Mitchell taking the ball up, down by 19. Levert, 3.53 to go. Levert drives up, and he missed it. Rebounded by Thompson, who's actually getting minutes for once. Haven't seen Niang either. Free throw, and the tip in is missed. Freaking, we, yeah, we haven't seen Niang at all in the second half. That's so crazy. Three ball, good. Because, again, they're playing magnet ball, and everything goes in. Niang got fouled. I'm sorry, it was Struz. <laughs> How to defeat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, the Guardians? Well, it says on ESPN they're uh, down 3 nothing. One out, top five, two on. And now there's two out. So they ain't going to score. Uh, yeah, he is. His fractured nose. Yeah, he's got a mask on. Free throw number one. Good. Mitchell, by the way, has a resounding. For thinking about why Master Chief was but What the heck are you talking about, Dominic? Mitchell to Thompson. Niang for three. Round and out. Here's Porter Jr. Floater is no good. Put back is good. 91-69. Yep, this game's over. 3.02 to go. Here's Levert and a turnover. Realigned? Yeah, I think he did. Thompson pretty much whacked him in the nose pretty good. Floater, good. Yep. Cavs having another one of those lazy-ass games. Lazy, lazy games. 11-1 to 1 run in the last minute, 47. God, when this team gets lazy, they get lazy. Like, they're practically already back at the hotel. They don't even want to be on the court. My God. Oh, my God, the Guardians have bases loaded. Now they really aren't going to score. Oh, my God, brother. This team is so funny. I'm going to lose by, like, 40 because, like I said, this when this team gets lazy, they get lazy, lazy. And I bet you a lot of it's coaching. He forgets about rotations. And then three ball. Done by Mitchell. Oh, the comeback begins. We're only down by 22. Woo! I mean, guys, there's a there's like a difference between taking it easy to stay healthy and just being straight up lazy. This is literally letting them get whatever they want. Granted, a lot of these shots they're just making everything, but damn, Duke and UNC State going on right now. I swear the Guardians are not going to score. Bases loaded. They never score with bases loaded. They're going to tease again. They're going to tease. The whole team's a tease right now. They scored too many runs in their first three games. They should have saved some for today. Says whenever they come off a game where they score like 12 plus or whatever, they always stink after that because they used to pull their run total. And then especially they're facing Blackburn. So I don't expect them to score many runs today, if any at all. They used up all their runs against freaking... Uh, the three pitchers they faced before. Alex Wood, Bum, Ross Stripling, Scrub. Three ball. Good again. Yeah, this game is OVA over. I'm not even going to really call the game. I'm just going to watch and talk about other stuff. Oh, man. Here's Mitchell. Corner, Merrill for three. Hey, he hit a three. He hit a three. Too bad we're down by 24. Ah. Oh, yep. Told you we weren't going to score. 
Yeah, because the Guardians are booty. The booty against good pitchers. They used up all their runs against bum pitchers. <laughs> Never score with bases loaded. It's like Tito took over again. They had a bum-ass freaking hitter. Did Straw somehow sneak his way into the lineup again? No, I, Mike, if I had to guess, it was probably like Jose Ramirez who was on, who was uh, at the plate. He tries to go try hard and hit a grand slam when all he needed to do was get a base hit. Could have chopped the lead to like one. <sighs> you know what, guys? I'm going to turn it to the Guardians game. This game is over. 32 seconds to go. 70% from three tonight. They were 18 of 68 the last two games from three. They're 16 of 23 tonight. Talk about make it rain on them. Make it rain on them. Make it rain on their hoes. God. Oh, a steal by Levert. Watch him miss it. No, he, he, he dunks it. Oh, wow, we're down by damn near 30 points. Ooh. Man, remember when we were only down by like five or something like that? Nine points at halftime? And we just forgot how to play basketball? Like, what did JB tell them in the locker room? I'm legit wondering, what the hell did JB tell these guys in the locker room? Did he say, okay, guys, uh, remember, uh, playoffs are in like seven games. We got to be safe. We got to be, uh, you know, just go lazy. Go go lazy. Oh, Gabe? Oh, uh, of course. It was Gabriel Ari ass at the plate, huh? <laughs> it had to be Gabriel Ari ass at the plate. Okay, makes sense now. It makes way too much sense now. All right, I'm turning this game off. It's over. I'm going to turn it to the Guardians. I'm going to watch the Guardians now. I have the scoreboard up still so you guys can see what's going on. This game is over. I'm, I'm done calling them. I'm going to call the Guardians. Yeah. The guards. The guards, baby. Ooh. They're down 3 nothing in the fifth. And nothing San Diego. My God. Oh, Cookie's still out there. Okay. Ruiz is two for two, bro. What the hell? Ah. Uh, wow. Oh, maybe now that I'm starting to watch, maybe they'll show up. They're like, oh crap, crazy dog's watching us. We better freaking turn. We better we better show up. Yeah, uh, they got the Mariners, the twins on the road. Then you have that awkward off day on Friday the 5th because the home opener in uh, Minnesota. And then you have three against the White Sox. Ironically enough, we don't have that awkward day off on the uh, 8th. It's so weird. Especially in Cleveland where you know the weather is going to be loony and everything. Like, are they? do they know that we're not going to have a rain delay? Like, better not. Hope not. It'd be crummy if they did, because it's like, well, damn. They don't have that fill-in day where they could just put the off the home opening festivities off for the next day. They better hope Mother Nature cooperates. I mean, especially because there's an eclipse that day. Funky stuff always happens on an eclipse. Seemingly seemingly. The Fire Nation loses their powers on the eclipse. Yeah. So if you have a flame throwing pitcher, he's gonna throw he's gonna throw ass all day. Hookie <laughs> already has two outs just like that. Uh, but I'll be live tomorrow for the Guardians and Mariners. Tristan McKenzie on the mound for the guards. That should be good. Can't wait to see him in action. Oh nice. Liner right to Jose. Look at that, a one, two, three inning. I turn to watch these guys, and they have a one, two, three inning. Because I'm watching, that's why. Okay. Okay, monster. <laughs> the Cavs stopped playing as soon as I put on my Garland jersey. Damn, Dominic. What the heck, man? What the heck, man? 
I'm not even watching the game anymore. I have the scoreboard up, but I'm not even watching. I feel like, I feel like Mitchell's knee is not acting right. <sighs> maybe if I don't watch the Cavs, maybe they'll make a run. There's always tease swinging at a chin high pitch. Gabriel Ari ass. Guardians tease us. Let's wait. Hang on. He can't even get one run. Like, are you serious right now? No. Yeah, of course it was Gabriel. Anybody else, we probably score at least a run. Nine to eight, Duke. But yes, I'll be doing um. Most likely, I'll just be doing the national championship, and probably not doing the final four because WrestleMania is that day. And I plan on streaming Mania because that card is looking juicy as heck right now. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm most likely gonna be streaming it. We'll see though. It could change. Oh, Blackburn's still out there. And the thing was, we have Steve we had, we had Steven Kwan on deck. Or Rokio on deck or whatever. Freaking ridiculous. Hmm. Come on, Steven Kwan. Oh, they got a uh, Tim Heron woman up in the pen. Yeah. One, two. That's kind of like uh, they they went with Eric Gonzalez over Gio Urshela. Oh, and it's snagged at first and out number one. Yep. Just that kind of game for the guards. Ow. You know, just that kind of game. Can't seem to get anything past. Bases loaded and you don't score any runs. That's the, that's the Guardians for you. They always do that. Always. That's 20 points, though. Can't be too mad at Mobley. People said he's ass, and you know, he ain't going to, you know, his offense ain't going to grow. He got 20 points tonight. Rock and Cody will be a banger. Yes, it will. Yeah, I'll be live tomorrow for Guards and Mariners. Of course, I'll be live tonight later on for the series recap. At least the Guardians won the series. Can't be too mad at that. I mean, you're going to lose games like this. I mean, it's Paul Blackburn. He's actually solid. I I bet you the A's will trade him at some point because that's what they do. They trade their good. They trade their good players, and they're going to get finessed in return. My ball. Oh, this is going to drop. No, it won't. It's not. We used up all our luck and everything in the last in the first three games. And Twins fans can't talk because they got smoked by the freaking Royals tonight. Or today. It gives me tonight. They got smoked today, so they can't say nothing. Like I said, you know, we're going to lose games like this. There's going to be games like yesterday, and there's going to be... Oh, look at this hit. And right at play day. One, two, three. 
<sighs> Duke having some issues, huh? Damn. Zam. Oh my God, it's a 21 point lead. Oh, don't, don't count out the comeback. 12 nothing San Diego in the third inning? Damn. You know, I know what we're doing isn't great. Losing 3 nothing. But at least we're not Minnesota or freaking uh, San Francisco getting double digits dropped on our heads. Ouch. Ouch. Honestly, I wouldn't have been shocked if Carrasco had double digits dropped on his head. Because like I've said, you know, before, Carrasco, in the words of the late, great Toby Keith, he's not as good as he once was. We all know that. Everyone with a functioning brain and functioning eyes knows that he's not that good. Look what we did to him last year. We cooked him last year. In New York. And then our bullpen imploded. Freaking James Karinczak. <laughs> they might score more runs. They're in the bottom. They're only in the bottom of the third. Like what? Huh? How? Is that Pirates game still going? Or is that game over now? I think mean, that game's over. Okay. Every, you know, you're going to win and lose games. It's a long season. 162 is long season. It's 108-85 Denver. A 36-21 third quarter is the main difference in this one. Because it was very close after one, and it was back and forth, and then the uh, Nuggets took over. Never looked back. How about the Cubs, though, up 8-5 to five after... In top of the ninth. Wow. Wow. Tim Heron. Ooh, fly ball. Here comes the right fielder. Oh, nice catch. Go oh, Brennan, huh? I ain't playing around. Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. By the time March Madness is over, I'm going to have two songs in my freaking head for the next month. That song by Ludacris and that stupid jingle from freaking Wendy's. You know? The little version of Sandstorm by Darude. <laughs> get it for a buck, get it for a buck. Dave Single, Dave Single. Yeah, I'm going to have that song in my head now for the next month. <laughs> Dave Singles, Dave Singles. Get it for a buck, get it for a buck. <laughs> wow. Justin Wisenhunt, Triple A Sacramento debut today. Uh, yeah, we were going to lose at some point. This season may be a wrap if Donovan Mitchell is getting blocked by the rim by Christian Braun. His knee, he's running on like second or third gear. His knee is bothering him. Problem is, he knows that if he gets surgery, he's out for a while. And uh, we're cooked it without him. So he's just going to power through it until season's over. And then he's going to probably get knee surgery of some sort. And then we'll see what happens after that. Because you can just tell his knee is bothering him. Like, oh, my God, we're down by 20. Oh, my God, brother, down by 20. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Do not call it a comeback. Whatever you do, do not call it a comeback. <sighs> That's tough.
Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. No more. Oh, yeah, Ohio State going after Rowan Brumbaugh from Georgetown in the transfer portal. Basketball. All right. Wow. Shay Langleers. Go lay down, Tyson. So this is what now? Three straight days of recruits for the Buckeyes. London Merritt two days ago, yesterday, and then today. It's lit. It's lit. Brooklyn Coliseum. K.A. the Mausoleum, because it looks so old and decrepit. Yeah, we only come back if someone hits a bunch of threes. Which, the three ball isn't really falling for us, but... Like I said, the Nuggets are playing magnet ball from three. They turn down the magnets in their hoops, pretty much, because... The past couple of games, they were 18 of 68. Last I saw, they made, like... They missed only six threes tonight. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey. Shout out to everyone watching. I kind of just turned it away from the game. I'm watching the Guardians right now. Heron's on uh, the mound. Oh, nice snag. Out number three. Down three, nothing heading into the seventh. They had bases loaded with two out, and of course they didn't score. Couldn't even get a run on the board. Damn. All right. Oh, man. So what else are we talking about in the chat? Cavs down by 22. Not surprising. Oh, no. Wow, 18. Ooh, don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. All they got to do is get it within 10. Oh, my God. Wow. 8.3 points two rebounds about three assists wouldn't be bad seems like a classic bench guy for the kit for the Buckeyes Rowan Bumba Rumba okay yeah he wouldn't be bad you get Michi Johnson back and you bring in Rowan or whatever or maybe even Jalen Sullinger that wouldn't be bad at all <sighs> get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Eighteen to fourteen for Duke. 
722 to go in the first. Hmm. Foul on the ladder. ED is shooting two. Oh, okay. Wow. Foul on the ladder. Oh, Naylor leading off. Nice. Nope, that's out number one. Not guards. Wow. Well, Brennan. Mm -mm. Wow. Blackburn about to go with damn near whole complete game. Blackburn might be the only the, the best pitcher on Oakland staff. Six and a third, only two hits, one walk, three Ks. Yeah, he might be their best pitcher. Well, I think he is their best pitcher. It's better than the other three because we smoked those guys. We cooked freaking Sears. And, uh, yeah, Stripling and Wood. <clears throat> Of course, you know, their bullpen's kind of booty, partially, so that'd be interesting. But yeah, the Cavs game, I'm not even paying attention to that anymore. Oh, yeah. Of course. 114.92 with five minutes left. I was going to make it close at the very, 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 very end. They're going to get it to like eight or something. And then it's like, oh, see, guys, if you were playing like this earlier, we would have been fine. But no. Donovan Mitchell is not himself. We all can see that. Ramon Laureano. One for two. <laughs> One of the only guys to get a hit for the Guardians is Ramon Laureano, of all people. I don't know. People count it, but that's fire out before you get too out of control. Yeah. I've a lot of you going all the way down the elf route. Juan Brito hit a homer for uh, Columbus. That's nice. <laughs> I think so. Three. Oh, black buddy. Damn, but here. Oh, black buddy. Damn, but here. Oh, black buddy. There you go, Ramon. Two for three. Ramon. Razor Ramon. <laughs> Let me let the Razor Ramon to get a hit. Ramon needs a hit. Is there any time for the Guardians to cook? It's now. It's usually been a really good team in the seventh inning and on when it comes to scoring runs. Only because they fed when they start facing these bum ass bullpens, but Blackburn's been efficient, so. And of course, we have the bottom of the order coming up, so I could just see how this is going to go. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I swear they're going to hit into a double play and it's going to piss me off. Ow! Freaking hurt myself. Mm. Freaking ran into my damn bed. God.
All right, Bo Naylor. Come on, Bo. Two out. Oh, there's two outs. Okay. Come on, Bo. Bo, Bo. Bo, 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 Bo. It was a freaking cur anime called Bo, 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 Bo. Oh, Bo. Bodacious. You just got to believe. Believe in yourself. All you got to do is believe. And anything is possible. Yeah. Let's believe. Hmm. All you got to do is believe. Remember, the, if you're, for any wrestling fans, yeah, that was the whole thing with Bo Dallas. When he first showed up. Believe. All you gotta do is believe. Hmm, that's funny. I need like, you know, a deep bass hit by Bo. Like off the wall. At least get a run on the board. Come on, Bo Bo. I need a Bo bomb. That'd be great. And try not to chase a pitch that's not in the zone. If it gets you in the zone, yeah, that's tough. But, like, don't be chasing pitches that are, like, a mile in the other batter's box. Like freaking Ahmed. He pops it up. Yep, classic. That's the Guardian's move right there. Get a base runner, pop up. We are the kings of the pop-ups. Pop-up prince. Means you just got underneath the ball. Goes boing, straight up. Straight up. On some Travis Scott type thing. Uh. All right. One twenty five ninety six. E. Two minutes left. Verdas fifteen points, and he almost didn't even play tonight either. Wow. It's like to say the Nuggets got their lick back for what we did to them in Cleveland. What is this? Hannah Montana. Someone said, why I just realized... Them fighting over Elvis in Hannah Montana was a Jolene joke involving Dolly Parton. Uh, okay. All right. Whatever. And to be fair, the Cavs always stink on Easter. It seems like there's just something about them playing on a on March 31st.
All right. Well. Yeah. 54 seconds to go. Hmm. I'm watching the Guardians game. That's why I haven't really been talking much. Reading what people are saying on Twitter and stuff. Uh, so ESPN projects Zach E. Day to be the 14th pick in their mock. All right. So I think we're pretty much done here. Yeah, I done by 26. Oh, nice try. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that's pretty much that's the game. So, uh, yeah. Cavs lose 130 to 101. We're going to go through the box score, and then we're going to head out. So, yeah. Box score-wise... Cavs led by Evan Mobley, 23 points, 19 for Allen, and 13 for Mitchell, 9 for Struess, and 5 for Garland. Off the bench, solid 15 for Karis Lavert, 7 for Morris, 4 for Niang, and then 3 apiece for Jones and Merrill. And then for the Nuggets, 26 points for Jokic, another triple-double for him. 22 for Caldwell Pope, 19 apiece for Porter Jr. and Jackson, and Gordon only had eight points with three fouls. And then off the bench, 10 for Braun. He cooked us off the bench. Nine for Watson, seven for Holiday, five for Pickett, three for Tyson, and then two for Gillespie. And that's it for the scoring. So. We split, and uh, now we will be heading to Utah on Tuesday. And by the way, I just saw that apparently uh, Lauren Markinen will be out two weeks. So, yeah, we're probably not facing him. So, that's all I got. Oh, well. Got to bounce back against Utah. Should be fun. I'll be live for that. And then we have Phoenix the day after, so... Can't wait for that, but I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for some Guardians baseball. I'll be live uh, in a few hours for the series recap once the series is over, really. I'll probably go out about 7, maybe 6.30, 7 o'clock around there, so keep an eye out for that. But I will be doing a video for the Buckeye channel, so keep an eye out for that, too. So with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog, and uh, again, final score, 130-101, Cavs lose. They just can't seem to get in a rhythm, get a solid streak going. And, uh, yeah, they're hitting their they're, – they're mid. And it's because guys are hurt. It's pretty clear Mitchell is not 100% healthy. That knee is still bothering him a little bit. If it was earlier in the season, I'd say, you know, get it looked at and whatever. But we see how this team is without him. So he'll play through it. He'll try to he'll try his best, but he's not healthy. You can tell. With that being said, I'm Crazy Dog, and uh, let's go Cavs.